Hi friends. In church on Sunday, we were reading from Matthew chapter five, verses 13 and 14. You are the salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. Probably the most common, most well-known object lessons in the New Testament. But the problem with object lessons is that kids can't quite get it yet because you see we're asked to draw these spiritual truths from a physical description of something and kids brains just aren't developed enough to do it but it doesn't mean we just skip over that because they aren't ready for it we can start to talk about these metaphors and, and to start to understand them so that when they get to be teens, they can really make those connections, but they can start to learn and hear them now. And so Sunday we talked about being the salt of the world, salt of the earth and what that means. And so I wanted to talk a little bit today about being the light of the world, because you know, sometimes we need big bright lights for searchlights or a lighthouse, something to really point things out. And God's people are called to look for those who might be overlooked or forgotten. God's people are called to feed those who are hungry, to house those who are homeless, to help care for those who might be marginalized, those who might not be seen by anyone else. God's people are called to be that light so that all might be seen. But you know, not all lights need to be bright in order to make a difference. Because sometimes we need a soft, gentle light in order to see the beauty around us in the world, the light from a candle. And so that's what we are also called to be, that gentle light that brings beauty, that brings love into this world. You are the light of the world. We all know the song, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Hide it under a bushel? No, we're gonna let it shine. And when it needs to, it's going to be big and bright to point out the things that need to be changed in this world. And then we can do the work to make it changed so that all feel seen and loved around us. And sometimes our light is going to be gentle and soft and it is just going to show the beauty around us the way we love and care for one another. So this week, may you be the light of the world. Bye friends.